Okay, really quickly, I even saw people talking about it in chat beforehand. What the f*** is going on with this PAL World game? What, apparently it's like the most played game in the universe now or something. What, what's going on? Why? I saw a few descriptors of it that immediately set off my slop alarm. You know, the slop alarm went off. PAL World, the latest open world survival crafting game. Open world survival crafting game for up to 32 players. And it's all like Pokemon. Like, everything just looks exactly like Pokemon. It's a version of Ark that works, but it's more Ark than Pokemon. Yeah, but po Ark was itself a slop game. Is it good enough at being itself that it elevates itself out of being a slop game? No, I argue yes, not really no, seems so. Okay, gotcha. It's ran by a guy who uses generative AI, has a crypto company, and supports NFTs. Yeah, I saw that. Apparently, there's no evidence of AI having actually been used in the making of the game, which makes sense because if you think about it, like AI is a pretty, like AI art is a pretty goddamn recent thing. And this game has been being developed for years, obviously. Like it doesn't just come out in one day. So I don't know about that. That being said, it does set off the slop alarms for a person who heads the project being into AI, crypto, and NFTs. Dude, look at how much the little monsters, or whatever they call them, whatever, look at how much they look like Pokemon. It's actually insane. They have the art style down to a T. Funnily enough, they actually do a far better job translating the art style to 3D than any actual Pokemon game. <laughs> I guess it just shows how incompetent Game Freak is. The, um, the designs... It, it, it looks like a lot better and more natural with the lighting and the, the way they've decided to translate the design as opposed to that god-awful, like, Arceus slop visual shit. The designs are pretty blatantly ripped off from a lot of Pokemon. They just made a better game. I mean, I guess if the people want it, I don't know. Like, look at that. Like, this is literally a Pokemon. Look at this. This is literally a Pokemon. Some of the designs are very similar to existing Pokemon. Yeah, I've seen this. I wonder if they'll get in legal trouble. That'd be kind of funny. I don't really care about this, though. I just care about whether or not it's a slop game. Slop game, slop game. And you've gun. And crafting. Crafting. That's literally the- that's- this is literally the Dolphan, or whatever. I know this Pokemon. This is literally the Pokemon. Dawn fan? Dawn fan. Oh shit, we even have like the e-girl. Yeah, we even have like the e-girl enemy. Though this is a little bit more sultry than anything that would come from a Pokemon game, I think. Too doll-like features. The eyes aren't big enough. Um, this looks like too much of a Pokemon game. That is true. However, it is worth pointing out that Pokemon games are f garbage and have been for a very long time. They're slop. They're sloppily made. Uh, they're ugly, boring, uh, derivative, repetitive. Uh, so honestly, f them and f the IP and f all of it. And if they're going to make, you know, like this game might be slop, but is it as much of slop as an actual licensed Pokemon game? And the answer is probably not. I don't know if you I don't know if it could be. Slop, 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 slop. I also got a video up of actual gameplay footage. To PAL World. This is so you've got a Pokemon with a Gatling gun? That's cool. This is a game I've been... Uh, so if I put... I don't know my... if I want to hear this guy's voice. Oh man, crafting game sure are a riot, huh? I, there's nothing I love more than going through my inventory and selecting the build... Uh, wooden square floor variant three floorboard horizontal and then clicking it down and then holding the click button on it as I use the materials to build it. I can't, oh man. Base level one, build a wooden chest. Oh man. I don't know, a lot of people like it, dog. Yeah, and a lot of people like heroin. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you've got a hunger meter. Ooh. Pals without beds will get stressed. Oh, f dude. Oh man, it's gonna be one of those games. Why are crafting survival games so prominent? It literally just ruins games for me. Because people want because people are little piggies who want slop. People don't want to have their feelings or expectations challenged. 
uh, they they want to have the same game made over and over and over again with mild tweaks. Uh, they don't want to be like challenged in gameplay or narrative sense or whatever. They just want like you know, oh man, it's cool when the numbers go up. The avatar looks like you. That's true. I do also have visible abs with my shirt off. Minecraft and its consequences. Well, Minecraft doesn't really compare because Minecraft doesn't expect you to do anything. You can just do whatever. But in this game, it's like, you know, you, 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 you all see what's going on here. Can you throw the poof? Can you throw the poof? Okay, you can. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh man. Uh It's so funny that Vosh switched to defending Minecraft after he played it again. Oh, th why, why are you guys talking about Minecraft? We're talking about this style of game right now. Don't you see? Can't you see? Vosh only wants one type of game to exist. I want more than one type of game to exist. That's the problem. No items in queue? Oh my god, it's like Clash of Clans. Oh. At least it looks like, I don't know, well put together. Like presentationally. I don't like the little glitching that's going on with the, the blueprint preview here. Is this mid or bad? I don't know, I haven't played it. How could I say? TBH, if I see a UI that looks like a mobile game, I immediately uninstall. That is a very, very, very good, um, that's a very good instinct. You know, one of the easiest ways you can determine whether or not a mobile game is slop too, I don't know what it is, but it's like the, the, the law in, in China is that if you're going to make a shitty derivative gotcha game, you have to make, like, the art style always has to be the same no matter what. There are like 50 million of those games that have come out of China, and the worst of them, they all have the same, there's like some, a very specific, like, like, way they style the game's art or presentation or even like advertising that you can immediately identify, you know? Um, and all, all, you can tell if it's Korean too, because all Korean games have weirdly beautiful men. I don't, I think it's a K-pop thing, I don't know. That's, that's, that's how I knew that Lies of P was made by a Korean studio, because I didn't realize the main character you play as was a boy until, like, two hours in. Um. Thanks, Canoe. Your creator has used AI tools in the past. Um. Steam's newest hit, Power World, has been accused of plagiarizing designs for Pokemon, and social media users negatively highlight its creator's history with generated AI tools. But they both look like Cheshire and Alice from Wonderland. Are they both copycats, then? Dog, the eyes and mouth are the exact same texture. What does this have to do with AI, though? This is just, like, copying designs. Not necessarily an AI thing. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um... Hit H bomb on this. True. When do you think Pokemon came a slot? I'm not getting into this again. Is there like any gameplay in this gameplay? Oh, we're running around now. We're walloping. Okay, one thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is that there doesn't seem to be an actual combat system and your character turns with the speed of a forklift. Like, I'm not seeing dodge rolling or whatever. It seems like you just, like... I mean, this is also like a person who's just started playing, but I feel like if there was a dodge roll, they would have used it. There is dodge rolling? Oh, okay, maybe this guy's just bad. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much of an like, active combat system there is. How do you all know there's a dodge roll system? You haven't played this game, have you? What's wrong with you guys?
This gay porn has way too many viewers. Some of you mother are lying. It's just kind of funny that within like a few months, we're going to get two gigantic breakout unexpected titles, and one of them is the slop shit, and the other one is um, Lethal Company, which was made by a solo dev. It really is like the ultimate uh, which way Western man, you know? This is just a way worse Valheim with a Pokemon gimmick stuck on top. Yeah, maybe maybe like a gimmick element to it. Or or, or like the shock value of having a gun and shooting a Pokemon or whatever. Um, Valheim's pretty good, though. Valheim's good. I, I think Valheim is basically... Valheim is the argument that you can make a game that is good while also being like an open world craft survival whatever the fuck, you know? Like, that's the argument, you know? It's uh, a well-made argument. You can catch people too. Yeah, I heard that you can um that you can enslave people in the game. Okay, wait. This is also something that makes me very suspicious, okay? Whenever you're playing a game and the art style isn't consistent, that's a huge red flag about it being like a Unity asset flip. Notice how you have a very like tune shader style on the characters and the Pokemon and stuff. They're very bright, vibrant. There's not much in the way of texturing or shading, but you almost have like a realistic uh ground you know, th th what that suggests to me is that they used, like, very basic or freely available tools to construct the world. Like, look, those trees over there just look like they're photorealistic trees. I mean, they don't look perfect or whatever, but that's the art style, right? It's Unreal assets, not Unity. Okay, Unreal, you get the point. But, like, for there to be a deviation in the art style, this is one of the reasons why Breath of the Wild is is pretty impressive on an artistic level because Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have so much in them and the art style is very consistent all the way through. Uh, 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 the sky islands, uh, ground, underground, dungeon, wherever else, trees, water. Um, there's a very consistent art style there. Other game made by the company that made Power World, by the way. No way, really? Oh yeah? All right. Man. I wonder what influences they, they called upon for this one. No kidding, huh? Oh my god. It even has the jingle? Wait, I, I, I it wasn't playing the audio. Hold on. <laughs> no kidding. Oh my god, yeah, even at the- oh, the- that's like- that's like copyright Zelda now. That, like, with the, the like, final piano keys or whatever. Um, they even do the- the- the very stylized wind. Uh, where you have, like, little zephyrs, like, little- little- little dashes, like, see the curved lines? Those? Those are very Breath of the Wild too. Again, not the only game to have used them, just like, it's pretty clear what they were doing here. Honestly, I kind of respect it. It's so shameless. Nintendo's gonna get mad. Okay, Vosh, that's incredibly common. I, I know it's common, but, like, look at this all put together in, in, in like, you know, all thrown into a stew together, you know? Like, sort of in combination. They also made this AI art imposter. Okay, one, one, one thing at a time. Look at the font of the title they show, by the way. Does it do the... <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, That's funny. Why are people expecting the Chinese to make anything original? Don't be unironically racist. Um, there's plenty of good art that comes out of everywhere. One of the, like, the thing is, a lot of Chinese art is kept internal, because unless they're trying to market to piggy Westerners like you, um... A lot of their shit stays kind of insular, you know? Like, think about it. American culture literally rules the f world, and China has five times the population of the U.S. Like, they've got to have some insane shit going on. But there's a barrier, government, you know, the whole thing. Uh, wait, this is Japanese-made? Oh, then you were being double racist! I, I didn't know that! You assumed that! What, because Genshin is Chinese? All right, not on me. I, I, I can't in divinely intuit the ethnicity of the people who made the game. I can't. It's not a skill I have. I don't know. They're the one who assumed. I didn't assume. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Genshin is Chinese. Yeah, Genshin's Chinese. Um, Genshin's also 
a pretty big Breath of the Wild. Okay, I'm loath to defend Genshin because A, it's Gotcha, and B, it's Pito, and those two in tandem, like the 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 double ultra to hell, like straight to hell, you know. However, from what I've seen, Genshin's gameplay actually does seem to be like very distinct from Breath of the Wilds and interesting and worthwhile in its own. Um, if you could somehow remove the pedophilia and the, if you could perform surgery on Genshin Impact and remove the pedophilia and the gotcha, I feel like you, you could have a pretty good game, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. That's funny. Well, I mean, it's, it's all slop now. It's just slop forever. That's life, I guess, for, for, for all time. It's load-bearing pedophilia. You remove that, the whole thing collapses, yeah. The reason Pal World got popular is because it's a creature collector that plays more like a crafting survival than an RPG. I mean, yeah, just crafting survival games suck. <laughs> not all of them. Valheim is good. Valheim is good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to be like... Keep in mind, slop games can be, can be fun. You know? It's just... It, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Valheim also kind of... ruined my... Tolerance, like Valheim, is just so much better than so many other. Hold on, <clears throat> stop with the cutaway shit. Valheim is just so much better uh, than so many other games that are like it. You know, it's it's just it's it's so good. You can get a Megingjord and no skill drain with a skull. You know, you can get both those if you want. It looks the same to me. Well, a critical element of Valheim is that it doesn't have any time gatekeeping or um, like gotcha components or anything like that. There's no time wasting in Valheim. If you want to build a, a base in Valheim, you can, but it's only because you want to, if that makes sense. Like the only buildings you need to build in Valheim are um, like uh, the, the basic crafting very basic crafting stuff, you know? But apart from that, like, the rest of the house that you build is up to you, you know? Like, for fun. Uh, it's like, you can do it for, it's like Minecraft, right? Like, in Minecraft, you can beat the game, technically in Minecraft, you can beat the game with nothing, because it's a ridiculously, like, variable modular game. But, like, you know, you don't have to build the big projects in Minecraft. You can just build, like, crafting bench and, you know, whatever, a smelter or a furnace, and you're fine. Um, isn't the resource gathering part incredibly tedious and time consuming and also necessary to progress? In Valheim, I say no, because the resource gathering is the is the the hook that drives you into more dangerous areas, you know? Um, finding all the cool resources and like going into the dangerous forest and like the the like swamp area and stuff, I don't think that's tedious at all. Like it, it, it baits you to go in there, and you do, and it's like really fun. It's it's not like it's not like you it's not like, oh man, gotta get the thing, better spend like six hours like mining rocks or whatever. You know, you, you go in there, you do the thing. Iron is so tedious. Well, it's just very heavy, so it's difficult to to bring with, you know. Did you, Uncle Twisty? Okay. All right, well, different experiences. That's fine. Grinding wars multiplayer is a bit rough though. I just played single player because I'm a loser. Uh so yeah. Is Angry Birds a slop game? No. But when again, when I say slop game, I mean a game that's designed to like hook your time with homogenous sludge and not challenge you in any way. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think that a large portion of your day, day to day, will be forgotten by tomorrow because a lot of it is boring and routine. And that's normal. That's totally normal. But I think that we should always seek to like do and think and find interesting things because those things are memorable and they mean more to us and we reflect in them and they can help us grow as people. And I think one of the things that makes people kind of like, this is this is where the idea of like a man child or like arrested development comes in, right? The idea of a person who gets so comfortable in their routine or somebody who like relies so heavily on their essentially like slop uh, consumption that they stop growing or changing as a person. You know, I think you should avoid that. And I think that sometimes games facilitate that. Gotcha games, man. Jesus. World of Warcraft, that kind of shit, you know, uh, can, can get that for a lot of people. So got to be careful. Gotcha games should be outlawed. True. I believe in you, Bablato. I have not played Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. I feel like Power Worlds isn't really a slop game. I'm really sorry to be contrarian, considering I know basically nothing about the game. But while I was looking through this uh, gameplay footage before starting stream, just to make sure that it had, like, you know, gameplay footage, I saw there was a thing where it was like, this thing will be ready in one minute. And as soon as you see that in a game, you need to, like, launch your phone or mobile device or computer at a wall and run. Because... As soon as you see arbitrary time gating as a game mechanic, you you're it like that. It, that's like the biggest red flag imaginable. You know, you got you have to launch that shit out the window and run. Uh, I don't know how bad it gets, but you do not want to get like Clash of Clans tier shit. Was it here? It's an hour fifteen minute.
long video. I I don't know. Yeah, it's, it wasn't there. It was some other time. It's just it's such a big warning sign. I don't know. Some people like it, but again, people like heroin. You know, it, liking something doesn't necessarily make it good. Even enjoying something, like having a good time with it, doesn't necessarily make it good. Uh, there are there are like greater considerations uh, to to take into account. I feel. Pal number sixty nine is the sex mon. Okay. Well, I mean, I must not be a furry because I don't find this design very appealing at all. In Pow World, the 69th deck entry is Lavander, a tall lizard-like pal with a carnal desire to mate. They eventually moved on from pals into humans. I'm not making this up. Okay, gotcha. A lot of women like this, you know? It's kind of horse-like. How? Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, look how long it takes, too. What the... Look! You have to like sit there for the whole thing? Whatever. Whatever. A lot of water in that can. Yeah. You don't have to do it yourself. Okay, but that's how they get you. I feel like there's such a strong line between management games that challenge you and make you think and management games that are always just like incrementally forcing you to do one level up of work to manage the level of work that you just left, you know? I don't know. You could say that about Factorio too? No, I, no, I couldn't. No, I could not. What game besides FromSoft do you think meaningfully A ton of games challenge the player. That's like a whole thing with games. 